Hello and welcome. Motivation is the key to learning. With this as the premise, the digital teacher, that's myself, based at Visakhapatnam, on behalf of the digital teacher dot him, is presenting and offering a few of the tools apps, simulations, and relevant material for the benefit of students, teachers, educators, and parents. Now, today, I'm going to present you a, a, an innovative, a, a different type of simulation which will help students to understand the working principle of a balance. I'm sharing the screen so that I will take you directly to that, okay? Now, this balance is known as an unequal arm balance. Why it is so? Now, if we show, this simulation has everything on it. Now here there is show instructions, here there is show theory. See the theory is more important for the student to understand what it is about. And the diagram of forces. Now in, let us go to the theory first. It says that this is a balance that is used, that uses the theory called as moments of forces. What is a moment then? He has to understand what is a moment. Moments, uh, moment is a force which cause a thing to rotate rather than to accelerate in a fixed direction. <clears throat> now, the moment of a force is the product of the force multiplied by the perpendicular distance between the force and the pivot. Now, if we go to the this, the, in this example, the masses on the right hand side and the produce a clockwise momentum and the masses on the left hand side produces an anti-clockwise moment, right? So that's it. Now, if we go to the, go to the diagram of force. Now it says that what is the principle? The principle is if this is the pivot on which the two arms of the balance lie, and this is the distance from the force on the left hand side as F1 and this is the length L1. On the right hand side, if the force is applied at a distance of L2, then F1 into L1 must be equal to F2 into L2. This is obviously true for each and every balance. So the principle here is used as the moments, the forces. Now if we close the hide the diagram, of forces. Now how it works. Now here are the instructions. If you take the instructions, you have used this balance to work out on an unknown mass on the left hand side. So now on the left hand side, you have the masses here, unknown mass, okay? You don't know what it is. And there is a number one, two, three, four, five. If this is one, now I take this two, uh, two mass and three mass and four mass, okay, you don't know what it is, but still you will be able to calculate what is the mass, provided you know the masses on the right hand side, okay. Now here it is given the passes on the right hand side, whatever it is you can use. Now here, I have kept this at a distance of two. This can be managed to keep it at any distance. Okay, now let us keep it at two. Okay, exactly. And on the right hand side, the, here is the distance. So you can manipulate this to exactly to 1.3, 2.3, 3.3. So you have to use this is at 2.3. Let it be like that. Now on the right hand side also, you can manipulate the weights. Now what is the weight here? Let us see. Now we will keep the weights. Here, the number of 
1 kg masses. Now here it is a 5 kg mass, right? It is a 5 kg mass. Now I will increase it to 6 kgs. Okay. Now 6 kgs, it's not perfect. Or I can either move this to make it perfect or increase the masses, right? Now if you take it to 7, it exactly fits. That means the mass, whatever, if it is X mass at a distance of 2 inches, say for example, must be equal to, must be equal to this mass. This mass is 7 kgs at a distance of 5.75. So it comes to 2 into 2 into X, 2X must be equal to 7 into 5.75. So this is how you can measure the exact distance. Now you can also check, look carefully and do. Okay. Now in order to hear, you can also add masses or decrease. Okay. So this is how the principle of the balance is. So uh, this is an interesting thing, um, simulation which is available for free and please contact me or uh, the digital teacher at this contact address to avail this free resource. Thank you.